Hello Shaki, sorry I'm late. Oh, it's rainy day. Oh my god, man. I forgot to top up my touch and go, man. Oh, nice. Oh, don't worry, Adam. I can solve your problem because I have NFC card. What? NFC card? What is this? What is NFC card? You don't know about NFC card? Okay, let me explain. NFC is Near Field Communication. It's a set uh, of short range wireless technology. It's typically uh, require a short, a distant short range, which is 4 cm or less to initiate a connection. So, NFC lets you share uh, small payloads of data between NFC tech and a Android power device. So, uh, we can tag and top up our touch and go with NFC card. Oh, you saved my day, Shakir. Thank you, Shakir, for this NFC card. Near Field Communication NFC is a wireless communication technology that enables short range communication between devices. It operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction and radio frequency RF communication, allowing devices in close proximity to exchange data securely and efficiently. NFC technology is widely used for various applications ranging from contactless payments to access control and information sharing. NFC operates at frequencies of 13.56 MHz and is based on radio frequency identification technology which is RFID. It allows for two-way communication enabling devices to boost, send and receive data. In NFC communication, there are passive and active device. Passive device, which is the tech. These devices do not have their own power source and rely on the electromagnetic field generated by an active NFC device which is the reader to induce a current and transmit data. For active devices, readers or smartphone, these devices generate their own radio frequency field and actively send signals for communication. Public transportation, which is we use contactless ticket, bus station, train, and subway system often use NFC for contactless ticket. Commuters can use NFC enable cards or mobile device to pay for ticket, facilitating a seamless and efficient transportation experience. Restaurant and cafes. Okay, NFC technology is commonly used for contactless payment at restaurant and cafes, which is it provides a quick and secure method for customer to settle their bill. Okay. Lastly, is at airport. Okay, we use uh, when do boarding pass. Some airlines use NFC for mobile boarding pass. Passengers can use their smartphone with NFC to access and board their flight, reducing the need for printed boarding pass. Welcome to the future of payments. Today, let's explore the incredible advantages of NFC contactless payments, the simple, secure, and speedy way to make transaction. With NFC, gone are the days of waiting in line or dealing with clunky card machines. A quick tap and your payment is done is like magic but better. And speaking of magic, imagine never having to fumble for your wallet again. NFC allows you to make payments with just a tap of your card or smartphone. No more digging through your bag or pockets anymore. You can ditch the physical cards altogether. Mobile wallets allow you to store your cards on your smartphone. 
it's like having a high-tech wallet in the palm of your hand. Gone are the days of juggling keys or remembering complex access code. With NFC, all it takes is a tap. Imagine effortlessly assessing your workplace, home or any secure area with just a simple gesture. NFC has covered each step is like a digital key and the data exchange is encrypted for your peace of mind. It's a high-tech lock and key system in the palm of your hand. You can carry your access credentials on your smartphone, no need to worry about lost cards or keys. So, um... I have been used this NFC for three years, almost three years. So I think this NFC card is very good for people because it's very convenient, which is uh, NFC card uh, provide a convenient and efficient way for user to make transaction, access information, and also authentic authenticate uh, themselves with a simple tap or close proximity to an NFC enabled device. And then I think NFC can use for contactless uh, transaction. Uh, NFC card support contact contactless transaction and reducing the need for physical contact with card readers. So this uh, enhance the speed of transaction and is particularly useful in application like public transportation and also point of sale system. NFC also have uh, good security which is uh, NFC technology incorporates security features such as encryption and authentication, making transaction and data exchanges more secure. So the short range nature of NFC also reduce uh, the risk of unauthorized uh, interception. NFC also have uh, their versatility, which is NFC cards can be used for various applications, uh, including uh, payment system, access control, ticketing, information uh, retrieval, and, other, uh, and others. So their versatility uh, makes them uh, suitable for a wide range of scenario. And then lastly, it's uh, integration with mobile devices, which is NFC technology is commonly integrated into smartphone and other mobile device, which is uh, smartwatch. Uh, so this allows uh, users to leverage the capabilities uh, of NFC for tasks uh, such as a mobile payments, access control, and also data sharing. So for me, NFC card also have a disadvantage, especially in limited range. So the short range nature of NFC, uh, typically a few, centi uh, a few centimeters. So it also can be considered a limitation. Users need to be in close proximity to the NFC reader for the technology to work. And then security concern. Uh, while NFC technology is generally secure, there have been in, there have been intense of security vulnerability and hacking attempts. So it is crucial to implement a robust security measure to mitigate this risk. Then for the third one, I think it's about dependency on device compatibility. And NFC functionality depends on both the card and the device, uh, which is the card reader and also the smartphone, uh, being NFC enabled. In this situation where device lack of capabilities, the cards may not be usable. I think for cost, cost the cost of uh, implementing NFC technology, including uh, card production and infrastructure setup, it also can be considered uh, for organization. However, as technology advances, costs are generally uh, expected to decrease. And then the last one I think, I think is about limited storage capacity. NFC card uh, typically have limited storage capacity compared to other data storage device. And this may restrict the amount of information that can be stored on the card. I think that's all uh, about the disadvantage of NFC.